And so look, basically, it was actually my brother who brought this up to, to me, which was this whole, because yeah, have you I seen this whole cricket thing that's happening? And I think it's, I think it's, it's Mr. Aziz, the, the cricketer who's in... Azim Rafiq. Azim Rafiq. And it was about... Um, so just, just to paraphrase, basically, how it's all about racism within Yorkshire cricket and so forth, and how it's basically exposing the kind of racism that was, in, that was involved, and then he was, you know, he was on a, a panel. And when he was saying this stuff, about it, said, look, <laughs> I know England, mm. and England are very precious about their cricket mm -hmm. and their tradition with their cricket. I said, they're not going to allow this guy to allow to be doing this, because this guy is exposing the way this guy's operating. Because again, look for me, I obviously went to school, you know, obviously in the English countryside. Because <laughs> mm. one thing going to school in London, there's one thing going in the country, and in the countryside, this is when it's truly good old and everything. And cricket is one of those sports that is like, it's, it's a colonial sport. Yeah, Let's yeah. Get it, it's a colonial sport. So, and England wants to keep it, you know, the, 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 way, the way that it is. And this yeah. guy was just talking about how he was vilified, he was insulted, racially abused in public, humiliated. And then what you now find was that let's now try to, when you want to protect someone, let's now try to um, defame this guy. So they don't run up about how he was anti-Semitic uh -huh. and how he was basically... And so now they're, they're not changing the narrative from like, well, if you were racist here, <coughs> you um, you people being racist, like that's boom, it's all the Yeah, they're, they're all, all good, all is fair in love. Well, well, <laughs> and my thing always is that you um, trading messages that plays into a Jewish stereotype. Okay, yeah, that's bad. That is the same as a guy publicly insulting you mm. because he feels he can and there's nothing that you can do to say. That is a whole different ball of wax. And what he is saying is beyond just the man himself. Yep. Is This is an institution. institution it's an right. institution where it's about mm. if you're not white and so forth, you are very much put in your place. And here's the thing, and this is where I want to... Um, trade it over to you is that things <laughs> to change things in England is impossible. I think what England are finding is the world is changing and people don't really care more about this whole thing with the royal family and the royal... Mm. that stuff isn't not really say because, like, look, this is a world that's now ruled by Lil Weezy. Be <laughs> like, sorry, for most people, they, they say, Who is the queen? They, they say Beyonce. <laughs> they don't say Queen Lizzie. They queen, say the Queen B. Yeah, queen, 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 for, for most people, yeah, Queen Queen. <laughs> Ask any 15 year old, the queen they recognize is Queen B, no, not just <laughs> Queen Lizzie. So, with, do you think really like anything is going to change or do you think it's going to be like, now nah, this institution is too important for England and there is no way we're going to allow some guy to shake up how we want to operate with, with cricket? Because what was so funny was, you saw how he was given all of these things? Nothing. Once they were now started to defame him, Nigel Farage, all the guys say, oh, look at this guy trying to destroy our great proper English sport. Um, Listen, uh, the funny thing is, is in all of this, is that I'm not surprised. No, no. These things come out and it's like, oh, you, oh, you finally got caught. Yeah. That's what I look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you finally got caught. Not yeah. like, whoa! This... Anyone who is surprised by racism in this day and age, oh, no, it's, 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 you're, you're I'm not insane. saying you deserve to be racially abused, <laughs> but I'm not fighting your corner. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. are surprised by racism, as you said, yes, it, we're talking about cricket today, but cricket is an element of society uh -huh. and it exists in all aspects of this society. Yeah. And cricket is just one, one part of it. The, the real, I think, deep, uh, deeper thing when you look at this case here it's not the individuals you know you talk about uh, Gary Balance and Michael Vaughan yeah, yeah, yeah. all those people you're like you know yeah, yeah everyone should be punished accordingly yeah, for yeah. what you've done or, or whatever but it's how Yorkshire Cricket Club as an institution tried their damnedest to cover it up first and foremost not just covering up but you, you, they've created an environment where these things can happen yeah. without any punishment yeah. and then when it then gets exposed you try and cover it up. Yeah. So when it when it first came, I think about 2020, September last year, and they were like, oh, we'll do an internal invest investigation. But they didn't want to release the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the findings of this investigation. Yeah. And then they released a summary and it said like, oh, um, yeah, he was, you know, he was treated badly. Mm. And it's like, and he said, well, I think it's more than just being treated badly. You know, being treated badly is 
maybe I come in late and you come in late and I only get in trouble or yeah. you give me more work to do. That's just being treated badly. Mm. You know, I say hi in the morning and you don't respond to me. <laughs> you treat me badly. This is much more, you try to diminish the fact that um, how he was treated by just putting us treated badly. Mm. And he also said, but nobody's going to be punished for whatever happened in the past. Mm. So you've already diminished his own experience and kind of just played it off as, you know, some light banter in the dressing room. Mm. It's not that, ri- not that important. And it's only when there was different, like higher, I think it was higher courts and that, who basically, and maybe the, even the ECB, English Cricket Board, they need to release the full statement. They didn't release the full statement, yeah, and even and then had re- removed some elements to it yeah. uh, of their findings because again they're trying to protect the institution, protect some certain people. So every element of this um, investigation, this this matter, this trial, has been it's like a covert operation yeah. to protect. The, the 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 hierarchy and the standards by which makes Yorkshire what it is, which makes England what it is. So, England- so, so basically, so in, so in a sense, these guys want to maintain that culture, maintain the status quo. Well. Yeah. And the reality is, this country has been built on racism. Yeah. So for it to continue to thrive and survive and be as powerful as it is, mm. racism has to exist. You have to put one race above yeah, the other. You have, you have to you make have to. one. Or a few subservient to the other, oh, no. or it's not going to survive in in the current no, no. in its current be, way. Be, because I said, and Yorkshire is the, is is a, a microcosm of how the society is always operating. This is what I say, like about how it is so stupid when people say reverse racism. Reverse racism is the dumbest thing because racism is about power. Yeah. Because power is the guy going up to the cricketer and calling him the der- derogatory word and said, you know that you shouldn't be speaking to him because he's a bleep bleep bleep. Mm. Saying that in public, that's power. And, 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 and that is power. And, 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 not and not being and punished. And not being punished. punished. Because, I, I, yeah, for me, racism is discrimination plus power. Yeah. If I go to the shop and the shopkeeper don't like me, that's discrimination. That's yeah. your business. If I can't buy from the shop because I'm black, yeah. that's racism. Because mm. you have now enacted your discriminatory, your prejudice beha- um, beliefs and thought patterns. And you know, you're now affecting yeah, me you know, personally. You're, you're affecting how you can exactly. operate and so forth. And that is what's happened at, in Yorkshire. The, those cricketers, and it's not just as in Rafi, and there's a, there's a number of them who said they, you know, they, they heard and they saw mm. those same things happening. They can't go about their cricketing career yeah. in the same way everyone else can, purely because of their, their origin mm. and, and, and their race. But, so, but this is not when I, I now speak to you, because I remember, like, because again, I grew up in a school where countryside so cricket you have to always always play cricket and for me i always could remember i remember like my favorite cricketers were always so shao bakta who was the really okay, fast, yeah, fast bowler yeah, yeah, and, I, and i always liked the west indies because yeah. they always used to have long gold chains yeah, yeah. and then i liked how how bad their clothes was and also they were, they were black so always always to always yeah. win the west indies to win my thing though is for somebody who obviously with west indies and everything what is because i never took to cricket because i feel this is a, <coughs> a colonial sport nigeria's got a cricket team do they? Yeah. Oh, no, no. My grandpa, um, his favorite sport was cricket. Cr- 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 oh, okay. Yeah. Because, but I knew why it was because he, um, he still believed in that whole kind of, because he was from that era of where, because he was really close to the era of where England, yeah, was, yeah. like we, we had an independence in 1960 and it was oh, way okay. older than 1960. So yeah, he really yeah. knew the England. So cricket was obviously enforced upon him. Yeah. So cricket, he was his, his favorite sport. So but I always pushed back against cricket because I was like, there is so much linked with colonialism with it, mm. more so than fo- football is the global sport. Mm. England, you don't own it. Football belongs to, to, to the world. Cricket is something that really belongs to England, and now it's passed and everything. So how do you... Do you just view it as... Because I still think that as... I don't like test cricket. One day is, is great. <laughs> where you have the 50 overs, boom, mm. quick. Like So I always prefer that to the testing. So do you still view cricket as, oh, I'm just viewing it as a sport in and of itself, but what do you now think about it? its links to... I'm going to be honest, like, growing up, I love cricket. Mm. Love cricket. I, I, it's only in the last... <sighs> I think I got a golden dog once. <laughs> I got, oh, I got, I got, I got a golden dog. Really? I was the second wicket in a hat-trick. Oh, wow. So okay. I wasn't actually the hat-trick, but someone got it for me. I got out first ball, yeah. and the next person after me got out first <laughs> ball. So I was the second... <laughs> Um, that was terrible, but I blame the pitch. Um, <laughs> I love cricket, and yeah. it's only in the last maybe I'm trying to think five, maybe five, ten years where I kind of started viewing it as 
a colonial sport. When mm. you there's, there's a documentary, I, I knew about you know, you know the West the, the West Indies team back in the eighties and how we come here and we we gave them what we call a blackwash, not a whitewash, a blackwash. <laughs> um, over here, England, and it's like yeah, we beat you know the colonial master, etc. Um, but it's reading up on that and watching documentary Fire in a Babylon, reading the book and all those kind of things where you're like, okay, yeah, there's obviously there's more to it. You even hear about the, the rivalry between Australia and England. Yeah. And you, you know that it stems from more than just cricket. It's about, obviously, you know how how the Australians who are there now, how they got there. Yeah. They're English. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're are, criminals. See, they're criminals. They're criminals. Who um, basically murdered all the Aborigines exactly. there. So. so, but but despite all of that, I've never pushed back on cricket. If mm. anything, it, 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 it infuses me even more uh. in the sport in the sense that when we play England, yeah, to beat England I want to yeah. beat them. <laughs> yeah. Bad! I want to beat... And beating England for, for West Indies is probably the highest, and probably for a lot of others, but yeah. for, for beating England for West Indies is probably like the highest achievement when mm. it comes to especially test cricket. No, but what's it called? Brian Lara, he was West Indies. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That was the best cricket game. See, yeah, I remember that Brian game from, from, from Blaine Station. Oh, yeah, yeah, Brian Lara cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because, so he was a record for most runs in a in the innings. Yeah, in the innings, yeah, yeah. Well, he broke it twice. He got three seventy five in ninety four. Three seventy five. Yeah. Jeez. Then it got broken um, by Matthew Hayden in I think about two thousand three Australian, mm. and then the next year Brian Lara came back and broke it. Got four hundred, not out. So. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, man. You know, this, this, this so growing up, like from we we had some great players. Even even in our decline, we had some great players: Brian Lara, Courtney Walsh, Curly mm. Ambrose, etc. So I've always been, you know, infused to watch it and yeah. see like that. But you then look deeper into it, and you look at the amount of the amount that black people over here and mm. um, and even Asian people are involved in cricket over yeah. here. But then when you look at the England cricket team, how many of them actually make it through to the yeah. Into the into the team. No, no, no. I, I, very, very but, 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 I remember very, very rare. the the first time I saw, I think I've only seen one black player in the England cricket team, and I I distinctly remember was it, it Nasser Hussein? He's not black. He is um, half. His mum is, uh, or oh, no, sorry, his dad. His mm. dad is. Indian, I believe. And mom yeah. is white. Mom's white, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I remember the first time I saw a full Indian person in England, and I was like, oh, this actually, see, <laughs> this, this, it looks weird. Yeah. So the England feeling team has always been, been real, and for me, again, <laughs> we, 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 we could get fully deep here and everything. <sighs> Bro, the, the, South Africa, man. Oh, listen. Like, and even Zimbabwe, because I, I remember when I was in, 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 in school, and obviously, <coughs> this was like during the World Cup. And then I saw the South African team, and I was this is the first time I saw cricket World Cup, and I was confused. Remember, this is I just come from Nigeria, yeah. so I was like, oh, yeah, South, South Africa. Africa. I was like, wait a minute, why are they all, all white? Listen, until, the whole team is white. I was like, I was confused until South Africa brought in the quota where they had to have a certain amount of what they say is coloured people. <laughs> so that's black, that's Indian, yeah, 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 any, yeah anything that's non-white white, basically. Yeah. I didn't call them South Africa. I called them Anglo Boers because that's what they were. Yeah. They were the Boers who had invaded and conquered South Africa through apartheid, yeah. dominating the majority race over there, and still do to today, by yeah. the way. Um, but I'm like, well, I don't recognize you as South Africa because you didn't even recognize yourself as South Africa. You, yeah. you, you, you are Anglo Boers, mm. you created your own language of Afrikaans, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Same thing with Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, because that's what you named. The country yeah. where you were uh, colonizing yeah, in yeah, Indonesia, yeah. just because it's Zimbabwe, it doesn't mean you represent Zimbabwe because mm. you don't. Because if you if Zimbabwe was truly represented, then you would see that in the in the team, in the cricket team, yeah, because, no, no, yes, because yes. cricket would be um, offered in uh, in terms of um, the, the availability to it across the country That's the thing. for everyone. But but but, and, it, but, but, it, but it's but it's very ex exclusive. Yes. So like my thinking is that is even the same thing, Robert, but specifically with cricket, with the kind of people that play it and the kind of access you have to it is only access to the richer, much more affluent people, which are the whites mm. in South Africa. Yeah. But my thing is that because I remember when the France football team, and um, this is around like early 2000s, where like, I think there were only three white, white players. Mm. And Jean-Marie Le, Le Pen, he said, oh, this is really ridiculous. How can we have <laughs> a France team that is with all black people mm. and everything? But it's like, 
this is like the French. But remember Le Pen making an issue of that. So if Le Pen can make an issue of that, yeah. surely it can make an issue where the whole team is yeah. white. At least there were three white guys about, in that France team. But on top of it, the difference is, and, and the difference is that people say, because people say, well, then you can't complain if so-and-so says it. Yeah. The difference is, we were, in, when it comes to Africa, you came over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You came and uh, oppressed us yeah. and took over so our took stuff. Over Whereas we've gone into um, the, the different countries where we saw here in Britain or France. And, and we used to rule. Used to rule. We, are, we built up the country. When yeah. our par my grandparents came over here from the Caribbean, we came over here to build up this country after the war. Yeah. And then they say, get out of our country. <laughs> But then you come out of South Africa well, we, and Zimbabwe, yeah. and we can't say get over the country when you're coming over to oppress us, whereas when we come over here, we're still being oppressed. So the, 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 the um, dynamic isn't even the yeah, same. Yeah, no, because it. wherever, it, whichever way you look at it, you lot are still in control. You lot are still yeah. in the power. But the difference is you're either in this country in power or in, you're in our country in power. So if black people are being picked for, for England football team or France football team, that is purely based on their talent yeah. and their ability because it ain't based on nothing else. Whereas when white people are being picked for South African and Zimbabwean cricket teams... You, you control the yeah, process. it's not based on talent. It's, it's you haven't given talent. the same opportunities no, no. to the non-whites in yeah. those countries. So the pool that you're picking from can only be from white people because that's the only people getting the opportunity. Yeah, no, 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 it's I, completely I, I, different. I, which is why I, I said, like, look... Because when we look at other crickets, I think I look at... That's why it's a dilemma for me because I just like sports. Sports mm -hmm. is always my passion. So I, I sort of, when I look at cricket, I can look at it as a sport, but at the same time, I look at the whole colonial aspect. So when I try and watch cricket, I sort of just ignore the this, this stuff that surrounds it, which I just think is, is steeped in racism mm -hmm. and colonialism. Mm -hmm. But my thing, though, is because I look at India, for instance, mm -hmm. and I say to myself, <coughs> Why aren't there are how I are there hardly any Indian people that play for football? Yeah. But every Indian person you know cricket. plays cricket. Like what's yeah. it called? Like my brother's best 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 friend, he was on a cricket team and everything, he's Indian and everything. But and that goes to a colonialism. Yeah. Because cricket was so enforced upon yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's keep it real, they're they like they're the, um what's his name? Um the Tendulkar. Ten yeah, Ten He's arguably the, the best all-round uh, cricketer. Argu arguably, yeah. yeah. No, I would, I would argue differently. But he's, he's right up there. He's top okay, So, so, so who is, who is the best right? Great, as a, as right, all great, great cricketer of all time is Gary Selbers, a uh, Barbadian. Oh, okay. Um, he was an all-rounder, batter, bowler, yeah. um, fast bowler and spin bowler. Brilliant fielder yeah. as well, all-round cricketer. They say Don Bradman is the greatest batsman of all time. He had an average of 99. Wait, where was he from? Australia. Oh, okay. At the time when he was really playing, it was just England really, and Australia. Really <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, for me, Ryan Lara is the greatest batsman of all time. But you know, he, he is ten, the numbers before it's And so. Tendulkar's right behind. Mm. Just like, literally just there. So those are the... Right now, I, like, if we're talking about form, Pakistani uh, Babar Azam, he's the, the best batsman in the world. But in terms of current players, they're mm. like career. You know, you talk about Messi, Ronaldo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, they might not be the best, yeah. but they're still the greatest. Yeah. For me, right now is um, Virat Kohli, Indian. That's what oh, yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. Like, that's the guy. Uh, from from India, the Indian Cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Test cricket, one day cricket. He's yeah. a brilliant, brilliant batsman. Um, but I'm going to say so, bring it back to, to the racism. Hmm. We just had the 2020 World Cup. Yeah. And South Africa, so mm, every team had, not had to, but there was like a, we want you to take the knee before the match. Obviously, the race. Oh the my! I, oh god! So then, bro, the South Africa wicketkeeper, a uh, white guy, Quinton de Kock. So basically, South Africa said, "We are enforcing that every single one of you players have to take it as a, as a team order." The they cheat. He, I know. He in the morning of or the night. Before, I think it was the morning. No, um, he said basically he's withdrawing himself from the from the playing squad because he doesn't believe he should be forced to do it. Now, in in logically speaking, I understand you shouldn't be forced to do it. But sorry, you are a white man playing mm. for South Africa South Af oh with the God. history of South Africa. You should be doing all you can to fight racism because your country, when it comes to cricket, is one of, if not the most single-handedly, overtly racist countries when it comes to no, no, no. when it comes to cricket. 
and you decide, you can say, I'm not going to do no, it. No, it's, 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 it's a bit when That is how brazen they are. But you see, when I see that, that's why I say to myself that I can't visit South Africa. Mm. I can never go to South Africa because I always say that, and this is maybe my agreement that I have with like, my like actual South Africa, the black South Africa, Africans is that that sh- can't be allowed. The fact that the fact that somebody can feel that they can do that in your country, that is South Africa, an African country, that there's something mess because that is so wrong on so many levels. It's one thing so that as a white guy, I'm not doing it as an American or as an English guy. You're a South, <laughs> South Africa. Africa.